What's up, YouTube? That's what beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right, today what we doing? I'm gonna show you how to put the MPC drum program on separate tracks. One of my subscribers asked me how to do it, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put the MPC drum program on separate track like if you have a kick snare hi-hat open hat percussions whatever you have on one drum program i'm going to show you how to put it on separate individual tracks all right so you can either mute it or do whatever you need to do with it all right so let's go let's get it that's what we're doing today all right let's go let's get it All right, so we inside the MPC software right now. We got a um, we got a drum program open. Let's just go ahead and create something real fast. All right, so that's it for now. It's not about the beat. It's not about, you know, me creating a, try to make a, 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 a nice beat or whatever. It's about how to, you know, put each individual sounds on individual tracks, all right? It's called exploding, all right? So what we're doing right now, I'm going to show you how to do it inside the, the software. Then I'm going to show you how to do it inside the hardware, all right? So let's go. What you want to do now to separate every individual track from this program right here, this one program, we're going to separate all these sounds and put them on individual tracks. So what you want to do is in the hardware, in the, in the software, what you want to do is come here to the hamburger menu. I call it the hamburger menu because it looked like a hamburger. The two, the two bread, on, bread on top, bread on bottom and meat in the middle. All right. That's why I call it the hamburger menu. So. It's not mine's. I hear people calling it that, so that's what I call it, all right? So, for you to, to do, to put them on an individual track in the software, you'll come here to the hamburger menu, you'll go to edit, you'll go to track, and you'll go to explode. So once you explode it, it will go to individual track. But before I explode it, I'm gonna show you how to do it in on the hardware if this is you know this is your first time so this video is basically for beginners all right so let's go into the hardware and i'm gonna show you how to do it in the hardware let's go all right so now we inside the hardware what you want to do is you want your track right here what you want to do is go to this pencil icon right here hit that pencil icon and then you go to explode right there this one right here explode all right once you hit that it'll explode everything to one individual track all right so let's go back in the software and we're going to explode it now all right let's go all right so now we back inside the the, the software what you want to do remember hamburger menu edit track and then explode once you explode it now you look at your track you have every track Remember, it was seven of them, right? 
was it seven or six? One, two, three, four, five, six. It was six. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we go here, that's our kick. If we come here, this is our snare. See, it's on his own track, right? If you come here, this is the hi hat. All right, so now let's go back to right here. This is the main one. The thing with this one right here, you want to always make sure you clear it. Because if you don't clear it, it will sound weird when you try to play the other ones that's, that's there. Okay, so you always, after you explode it, you want to clear this track right here. And the way to clear it, you will come here to the hamburger helper, edit, track, clear. But make sure you're on that track one, the track where all the sounds is at all at once. All right. So you'll clear that. Once you clear it, it's gone. It's back to unused. But you still have your tracks right here and you can still play them. All right. So that was that's basically it you, if you come here you can notice that they're all right here they have all your tracks right here track one two three now if you play it you can mute all right so that's how you put every track on his own track inside the m one drum program that's how you put all the sounds on different track inside the mpc software all right so let's go let's get it man i catch y'all in the next one let's go tonio